Hey, I hope you're doing well today. I want to talk to you about overthinking. Uh, overthinking. Let's, let's go for a little walk. Overthinking happens to all of us at one point or another. I believe that overthinking is a uh, is an unpleasant experience because overthinking causes anxiety. It causes stress. It causes grief. And it does not allow you to live fully in the moment. It doesn't allow you to create that natural bliss, that natural joy. I used to suffer with overthinking, but what really helped me stop overthinking was what I'm about to tell you right now. I stopped looking at every situation as good or as bad. I stopped judging everything as good or bad. I started simply observing things without judging them, without grading them. I started to become aware of what was going on without my personal judgments or bias or my personal desires or wants. Once you do this, your overthinking brain starts to stop because you change the process. You change how you're looking at it. So that process of let me think, 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 good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, judge, 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 it goes away. Because now you're just a student of observation. So I'll let you take a look at what's behind me. Beautiful lake here. The second tip to stop overthinking is to stop judging yourself on other people's ideas or other people's morals. A lot of the times we won't do what we want to do we won't be who we want to be because we are so obsessed with how other people are going to look at us, how other people are gonna judge us. The truth of the matter is this, no matter what you do, other people will judge you. I mean, the greatest people, uh, the greatest people who have contributed to the human experience have all been judged, every single one of them. So none of us can escape judgment. So if we live our life, actually, let me take that back. If we refuse to live our life because we are scared of judgment, then we are not fulfilling our own prophecy. We are not fulfilling our own purpose. 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 To help you with that, get out of that space of thinking that you have to justify your life based on other people's morals, based on other people's ideas. Let me give you the third thing I got here. Knowing all the outcomes doesn't offer you any value and it doesn't mean that you're critically thinking. A lot of the times when we're overthinking, what we do, <laughs> when you overthink, you try to think about every single outcome. You want to make sure that you cover yourself and you cover every scenario and every possibility. But when you overthink and you know every single outcome, my question to you is this. Does that actually help you? Does it actually help you to know every single outcome? I don't think it does because only one outcome can happen. Only one outcome can happen. So are you getting any value out of knowing a million? You know, I was watching the uh, Avengers movie. I, this is not a spoiler alert. If you haven't seen it, it came out maybe two or three weeks ago. And uh, there was a scene where, where Iron Man and um, Dr. Strange were talking. And they, you know, Dr. Strange has this ability where he, he kind of went into the future and he saw how things played out. And uh, Iron Man asked him, hey, how many possibilities are there? And Dr. Strange is like 14.9 million possibilities. And then he goes, well, how many of those possibilities were we alive in? And he goes, one. You know, of course, it's Hollywood, it's super dramatic. So here's what I was thinking. Why think about 14 million possibilities when you only have one? You only have one. one, one. I want you to realize that your anxiety is rooted in fear. Fear, fear, fear. See, a lot of people don't talk about this. If you wanna stop overthinking, it's really a process. You got to remember, you're creating the overthinking. Your overthinking is creating the anxiety for you. Your anxiety is rooted in fear. So your overthinking is about fear. 
So you have to ask yourself and you have to be objective. What am I fearful of? What am I scared to lose? What am I scared to be? What am I scared to see? What am I scared that this situation may uh, teach me or take from me? So it's rooted in fear. The reason that you overthink is because your baseline of thinking right now is fear. So you have to figure out what this fear is doing for you. Is it, is it helping you? Is it hurting you? But you have to be objective. You have to be able to see the big picture. Number five, the fifth thing that you can do to help yourself stop overthinking is be less concerned with other people. Now, part of the reason a lot of people overthink is because they intertwine their lives with everybody else's life. You know, there was just a wedding and um, I actually don't know where the wedding was, but there was a, like a famous wedding. We live in a culture where we are intertwined with other people's business. We are intertwined with, you know, I remember last year someone posted a a picture of Kanye West like allegedly eating dinner by himself and this is like a big deal why is that a big deal why are we so intertwined uh, in other people's business and it's not just celebrity business it's also with our friends and family and co-workers our uh, classmates why are we so intertwined with everyone else's business you know when you intertwine yourself with everyone else's business you you become invested in their outcomes you become invested in their journey and of course for friends this is this is this is an amazing thing but you have to always be able to disconnect and disassociate yourself with other people's journey because their journey has nothing to do with you this is your human experience you are here for you so you need to pay attention to yourself more and other people less all right let me give you two more and then i'm gonna let you guys get up out of here now, this might be the best advice I'll give you on how to stop overthinking. You have to trust yourself more and doubt yourself less. The reason why so many people struggle with overthinking is because they don't trust their decision-making ability. They don't trust their intuition. They don't trust their ability to bounce back. They don't trust their ability to build, to recover. I trust myself. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. I trust myself. Even if it's something that's brand new to me, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to take a risk on me. I trust myself at all times. Now, the last tip I have for you on how to stop overthinking. Stop projecting fear on the outcomes of your life. If you wanna stop overthinking, you want to get rid of the anxiety. If you want to go to the next level of self-awareness, of success, of understanding, but you have to stop projecting it. You have to stop telling yourself what you cannot do. Self-sabotaging yourself by telling yourself you're not good enough. You're right. You're not good enough now because you haven't done it yet. So you have to try to do it. And then you have to learn from the failure and repeat and repeat and repeat. That's how that works. So if anything, if there's anything you can do right now to stop overthinking, take that tip. Stop projecting your fear. All right. I appreciate you guys for watching this video today. I hope you got some value out of it. I'm about to go enjoy the rest of my walk. If you're new to my channel here, subscribe. Uh, hit the like. Drop a comment. Let me know how you feel. And let me know what subject you want me to cover next. All right. Take care. Peace and love.